Hey, how are you today? This is Crumble from Emotional Crypto Trading. And today we're going to talk about a different subject, which is called Will Bitcoin Fork Protection for August 1st? I like to protect uh, everything I can protect. So therefore, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you some advice around the protection, which is coming for August 1st event all around the Bitcoin. And as we know, Bitcoin is affecting the altcoins and a lot of these altcoins are traded through Bitcoin. Therefore, if you're not having Bitcoins, this video is um, useful for you too if you hold altcoins. Now, let's get started and see basically a quick intro all around the event, which is a very popular subject in the last period of time, is the Bitcoin scaling debate, which is entering a crucial phase. Two of the most popular scaling proposals are available, BIP 148 and SegBit 2X, basically. Now, we have the dates and we have this calendar right here, which needs to be considered. The 148 activation is on August 1st at midnight UTC time. Now, that could be, you know, 31st of July for you, depending on your time zone. What you want to do is you want to pay uh, attention on the time zone. You want to just check it out on Google. What's the difference between your time zone and know exactly in your country at what time this thing is going to be activated, right? So it's going to be around August 1st, midnight UTC time. Now, this is not fixed 100%. Again, I'm telling you that. Uh, BIP 148 is going to be activated at that time. Now, what is the big deal all around this? We do have two options and two possibilities. Between, I just wanted to let you know that you can take a screenshot of this calendar for you to be able to know what are the next things and what are the plans with the entire scaling. Now, let's get back to the uh, deal. We do have two possibilities, two options for the outcome of this thing happening. Now, if majority of hash power signals support for a segregated witness through BIP 148 or BIP 91 on or before August 1st, the protocol upgrade will activate smoothly. In that case, you're fine, even if you didn't prepare at all. Now, that would be probably the best option for us, and that would be uh, one of the smoothest way without any uh, chain splits or stuff like that. Option number one would definitely be um, the easiest way to handle this situation. And then we have option number two, which is a little bit more difficult, but it can be solved as well. Now, it's also possible that a majority of hash power will not go along with the BIP 148 user activated software fork on August 1st, in which case the chain could split. If you hold your private keys, you will then have both 148 Bitcoins and legacy Bitcoins, right? So that happens if the Bitcoin um, chain is going to split. Now, therefore, we're having some protection guidance over the next few seconds and minutes. And I'm just trying to help you. If something goes wrong, I mean, something wrong goes on, then you will be able to protect yourself by following the next thing. So definitely option number two is possible as well, exactly like option number one in the same percentage way. Now, even this many people consider option number one uh, has a high percentage. Um, I might be, you know, I might agree with that as a lot of people would not really enjoy a split of the uh, Bitcoin chain and uh, it could create a lot of the problems within the crypto space, especially from the, uh, you know, regular people out there who do not have knowledge all around this topic. And they would just come out and see all these things happening. Seeing two Bitcoins out there would definitely be a big deal for them. So therefore, probably option number one is more feasible. Now we're going to see what's going to happen. I'm not going to give out any prediction because there's no sense giving out predictions like this. Uh, it's like option number one or option number two. Whatever happens, it's going to be like that. And we have to know what we do in order to protect ourselves. That's the big deal. So before and after August 1st, before what you want to do is you want to protect yourself by having control on your private keys. This is the most important thing out of the entire conversation right here, out of entire video presentation. So have control of your private keys. If you're holding your Bitcoins on an exchanger, or any place where you're not fully under your control of your private keys, then definitely you want to move them out of there as quickly as possible in a place you have control on your private keys. Whether that's 
a uh, desktop wallet or, or a hardware wallet or whatever you have, you want to make sure that place is uh, giving you the possibility to be control fully of your own private keys while they're not in control of yours. So that means they're not hosting it on their cloud and servers, right? They're not doing any type of host of your keys. That's what it is. And that needs to be considered as the most important thing out of this entire thing, right? So you shouldn't run any transactions starting from July 30 for security reasons. No transactions for you on the Bitcoin side. That's why you have to prepare a lot quicker than August 1st with these things. Now, what happens after is in case of a chain split, which is the option number two, we could have a high risk situation, including a cyber battle between our parties, perhaps even escalating to the point where Bitcoin's exchange rates could drop. Now, that that thing is all around the option number two, which is going to create probably a lot of panic around the subject. Depends how the media is going to handle, depends how all these guys around the YouTube people influencing I mean, influencers are going to handle the situation. Uh, however, if option number two comes out, there will be some panic for sure. Uh, whatever would be the outcome, this is especially for you. The best way to prevent yourself is simple. Do not send any transactions, at least not until it is clear to everyone what the post fork situation looks like. That's the thing for you to consider. I mean, just give it some time, give it some space. There's nothing to hurry about. This thing needs to be settled and you have to put your security first instead of taking advantage of a situation or any other, right? Definitely your uh, protection needs to be considered the most important during these phases. And this is uh, what we could consider for option number two right there. For option number one, if things are running smooth, uh, you don't pretty much need to be worried about. Um, we just got to give it some time, like I said, whatever is the outcome, just give it some time and see what is going to be the situation afterwards. Now, let's recap quickly. Be control, I mean, take control on your private keys. Make sure you have fully control and no one else has it. No one else. To be on the safe side, avoid any transactions a day or two before on and shortly after August 1st. How shortly after? You have to pay attention on that because it depends on what would be the outcome. It might take weeks. Depends, like I said, after August 1st, you want to see how things are coming out. There's another thing that needs to be considered here. And I saw some people saying that they will speculate the game and they will speculate if there will be a chain split. They will speculate between the prices and all that stuff. Now, I'm not really suggesting you to do that unless you're aware of what you're doing and you're tailing, I mean, taking responsibilities on the high risk zone, which you're entering in. Definitely playing the 148 Bitcoin and legacy Bitcoin markets, you're engaging a ridiculous high risk zone, which can very easily lead you to lose your funds if you don't know what you're doing. Now, that's pretty much all about it, guys. Pretty short video presentation. I'm trying to give out the way you protect yourself and which are the two options that could happen. Uh, therefore, the way you do it, exactly like it says over here, it's just going to give out uh, some more security for you. And that's what we need at this time. That's pretty much all about it. Feel free to check the links in the description area. Drop your comments. What do you think? Which option do you think has more percentage than the other? Option number one or option number two? Which situation do you see it happening? Or which situation do you support? Let's see, let's create a helpful community in the, com in the comments area, guys. And uh, make sure you wanna like this video presentation if you enjoyed, you wanna share it with your friends if so, and you would like to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoy the content. I do a lot of market analysis and all that stuff, which is definitely helpful for you. Today, while making this video presentation, I'm seeing in the entire crypto space increasing and that's great. So that's pretty much all about it. See you next time.